Have you ever had the experience of listening to someone speak or reading some text, and although you understand the individual words you're hearing or reading, the whole just doesn't make sense? That might be because of a lack of coherence. Coherence means sticking together. In communication, coherence has to do with there being a clear and logical progression from one thought. To the next, we can think of this as a chain, with each link interlocking with the next link to connect all parts to one another. In this series of presentations, we look at specific techniques to improve coherence in writing. Let's start by drawing on your intuition for this. Pause this movie while you read through these two texts, and then choose the better one and explain why you think it's better. You can download material for these presentations by clicking on the link below, and that will take you. To a PDF, which has got notes as well as the passages that are used in these presentations. Can you see that A is more coherent than B? Here, I've reproduced A with the sentences separated, so we can easily analyze them. Can you see the interlocking parts of the chain that runs through this paragraph? Firstly, notice how the uniform is referred to in each of the first four sentences. It's introduced in the first sentence. Then more information is given about in the next. Two sentences, implying that the person doesn't like the uniform, and then the person's dislike becomes more explicit in the fourth sentence, and then in the last sentence, she contrasts the previous situation in which she had to wear this disliked uniform with the current situation where she can wear her own clothes. Secondly, notice how the use of tenses and Time signals helps us to tie together the sentences in a logical time order. We realize that wearing the uniform and feeling embarrassed because of it happened in the past, and that's being contrasted to the present, where the person can wear their own clothes. This diagram represents a technique that can help us to improve coherence. Coherent communication involves linking to a previously mentioned or implied point, the old. And introducing new points, the new coherent communication has this old, new, old, new chain running through it, tying it all together. Let's see how this passage does that. The first part of the first sentence is said in a manner that implies that before the start of this passage, the author had been talking about waiting tables, and now she's moving this discussion on to her particular experience with the uniform. Notice how the second sentence starts with new information at the last place I worked, and then it links back to old information all the waitresses had to wear, and then it introduces new information: an ugly brown straw. Jumper. In this particular sentence, all the waitresses had to wear is old information because it links to the points mentioned before that we're speaking about uniforms. Things to wear while waiting tables. All the waitresses. I've classed the next sentence as only being new, but that's just for simplicity. Really, it does contain some old that it's linking back to. The sentence is underneath it. We had to wear an even uglier polyester shirt. Can you see that it? Is actually old because it's referring back to the ugly brown striped jumper. The first part of the third sentence introduces new information about feeling embarrassed when someone she knew came in and saw her, and then it goes on to tie back to the old information, the outfit, which is the topic that we've been speaking about all the time. Then the first part of the last sentence introduces the new information about her now having a new job in an office, and then it moves on to link back. To the old information, the old topic of clothes. Obviously, while she's doing that, she is actually introducing new information too, saying that she can wear her own clothes. So you, you mustn't take this old, new, old, new, old, new thing too literally. It's meant as a strategy to help you. It's not a rule that should bind you. In contrast, let's look at passage B. Notice the lack of ties between the sentences. To a large degree, each sentence is standing on its own, and it only gives new information. Rather than tying into information presented in the previous sentence, can you also see that the tenses are all over the place, and it makes it very unclear what time frame the individual pieces of information have compared to one another? So, for example, look at sentences one and two. All the waitresses had to wear should be old information tying into the previous sentence's topic of uniforms and waiting, but the message is confused because the tenses work opposite to this. Because the first sentence's tense is In the present, and then the 
second sentence's tense is in the past. Now look at these two passages and decide which one you prefer and why. As a hint, see which one makes the new old, new old, new old links more clearly. Pause the movie while you do this. You can download material for these presentations by clicking on the link below. I hope you chose passage B. The transition word such at the start of this passage suggests that before this passage, the topic had been about sources, probably sources of pollution. The last part of the sentence then moves the discussion onto the theme for this paragraph, which is metals in the environment. The second sentence links to that and then moves the discussion on to the soil. The third sentence links to that, then moves the discussion on to the metals not being absorbed. And then the fourth sentence links to that and then moves the discussion on to other topics. In this presentation we've discussed coherence, particularly what it is and how you can recognize it. Coherent communication involves clear, logical, consistent linkage from one thought to the next throughout the communication. One way this can be done is by moving back and forth in the text from previously discussed or implied topics to new ones, to old ones, to new ones, back and forth. And in so doing, tying the new issues to the old ones so that there's a chain that runs through the argument. In the next movie in the series, we look at more techniques to do this at various levels within text. Until then, happy writing, like and subscribe and leave comments below.